minus uh, is actually a company who has the number one market share in civil engineering software solutions. We have almost 10,000 clients and 30,000 licenses distributed uh, of all the softwares. So first of all, let me present all the different softwares of Minus. The first one uh, is for the building industry. So it is called Minus Gen, and uh, it is composed of uh, several softwares for the building and modeler and D-Shop. I will explain later uh, what it is. Second one for the bridges. So these are all industries of Midas. So Midas has a software called Midas Civil, which is very strong to simulate bridges uh, and all kind of bridges. Midas has also Midas GTS for the geotechnical and the tunnel engineering. So 2D and 3D geotechnical analysis and uh, mechanical analysis, Midas and so during this uh, presentation, this webinar, I will go quickly on each software and show you a small demonstration of each software. So I know there's some engineers who are interested by buildings, some engineers interested by bridges, other by geotechnical and maybe by mechanical also. So uh, I hope you will uh, be you will enjoy all parts of this presentation. First software is Midas Civil. So what Midas Civil can do, so this is a very uh, large view of the software. Uh, Midas Civil can do all kind of bridges and has different, a lot of project application all over the world. So this is a short introduction of what I will show you right after. Midas Gen is also famous for all kind of building uh, analysis. So as you can see, pushover analysis, construction stage analysis, post tensioning or time history, uh, all that can be done using Midas Gen. Midas FVA is, uh, uh, I didn't talk about it uh, in the previous slide, so Midas FVA is uh, uh, for detailed analysis. Midas GTS for geotechnical uh, analysis, so any kind of ground or uh, geotechnical structure, tunnel, subways, all that. And finally Midas NFX which is uh, specialized for the mechanical industry and has also very good uh, features. And so first of all I think you know all these very famous structures. Uh, one is the Burj Khalifa, the Beijing Olympic Stadium or these uh, bridges. The Sutton Bridge which is the world's longest cable state bridge and the ancient bridge in Korea, the fifth longest cable state bridge. Well, all these buildings and structures have a common point. They all have been simulated using MIDAS softwares. So here you have an uh, overview of these uh, buildings inside MIDAS. And we have some key clients all over the world. So here is a small list it's just a small portion of the clients we have. So uh, right now I will begin the first uh, demonstration about Midas Civil. So Midas Civil is a generalist software for bridge analysis. So it is actually uh, providing advanced technology on se stage segmental bridge, construction stage analysis, uh, cable state bridge, dynamic nonlinear analysis. Uh, you can almost do any kind of analysis uh, about bridges and all bridge which are very complex shape have been uh, modeled using Midas Civil. So these are a few examples of the type of bridges you can model. Uh, the conventional bridges, so it can be the frame bridge, the beam uh, bridge, the slab bridge, uh, the staged segmental bridges like uh, the incremental launching method can be done, balance cantilever, precast segmental bridge, all that can be uh, simulated using the construction stage analysis and cable state bridges. 
So Midasil has been sold in more than 70 countries uh, over the world. So actually 8,000 licenses and uh, these are a few of uh, for big clients. And this is a map of uh, the world. So there's a lot of bridges in Asia, in Europe and in America and we have example of all uh, these bridges using, uh, which have been simulated using Midas. So, so for example, this is the Ironton Russell Bridge in uh, US or the Wharton Stenville Bridge also in US. This is in Mexico, again in Mexico. Uh, this is a conventional steel bridge. Um, this is again in Mexico. We even have a project of bridge uh, from Bucharest in uh, Romania. So I will uh, show you this uh, bridge right away. So this is a rail railway bridge in Netherlands. In Russia, St. Petersburg, uh, this is Cable State Bridge. And this is the Bazarab Viaduct uh, Bridge. So it's uh, located in Bucharest in Romania. And this also have been simulated uh, with Midas Civil due to the nonlinear dynamic uh, time history analysis uh, and the rubber isolators. So it's a very complex type of analysis. So this is again in St. Petersburg and uh, in Vietnam. Again, Vietnam. Right now I will show you a demonstration of uh, Midas Civil. So I will show you how to model a simple uh, bridge and how to make uh, a moving load analysis on it. So let me go into the software. So here it is. So uh, the interface is quite uh, simple because you have several types of menu with uh, big icons and different tabs to use all the features. So I will show you right away how you can model a simple bridge in, in, in this. So the first thing I will do is open a new project and I have to assign some material properties. So I open this, add the material. So you have a library of material. So I will directly select some steel material and add it. And you have also a section library. So the section you can use uh, any conventional section, I section, T section, box, uh, anything. You have also a SRC section, combined section, uh, free stress concrete uh, section, type section and composite section. Actually, I will not define right now. I will just use the data from uh, previous analysis. So I will import uh, the data from previous uh, analysis I've done. So two materials and and six uh, sections. So the section I, I will use to model the bridge. Now, if you go in this tab, you see the sections and the materials. So they have not been assigned yet, so this is why they are in blue. So right now I will show you how to model a simple bridge. So first of all, I will use structural wizard to model uh, an arc. So I choose the material, arc rib, and you see in just a few clicks you have your arc. Now I will um, project the nodes here. 
on. Uh, so this is the hangers. I will create the hangers by projecting this uh, on this line. So as you see, I created some hangers. Um, the thing is that the orientation is not good, so I will just select them, change the parameter, the element local axis, and turn them to uh, to put the right orientation. Now I will create the main girder of this uh, bridge by selecting that. So you see in a few clicks you can create the arc, the hangers, and the rib. Now I will just translate all that. So select all these elements, uh, select the, the widths of the bridge, so 14 meter, apply, and now I have the second uh, arc grid. Now I will create the cross beams. So to create the cross beams, I have to extrude these nodes. So using this tool, I can simply select all these nodes. I select the cross beam section. Again, I will use the project option. And I created the cross beam. Now I will create the stringers. So by selecting the cross beam, I will activate only this. So you can see a bit better what is happening and unactivate the section. And create the bracing and the stringers. So first of all, like that, the main bracing. And create the little dots like that. So actually, you can also directly select this. And I will use the translate option because if you have a very long bridge, it's uh, better to do like that than just to click on the screen. So you see in two clicks, I create all the stringers. I will mirror this. And now I will create the strut. So I activated this part. And again, using create element, strut, I will just click on the screen like that. To create the struts. Now, by activating only the struts, I will create the bracings on here in the stringer. Create element. And you see the auto selection of the middle of the element is quite uh, good because you just have to put your mouse on the element and it will automatically click on the right point. So now I activate everything and I have my steel bridge. So I can activate the section so you see a bit uh, better. So you see just in two or three minutes uh, you can create any kind of bridge. Of course you have to know uh, how the so software works but uh, when you know it, it's really quick. Now uh, let me show you how to uh, put the boundary condition on that. So go on boundary condition, define the support, block, I will block all that. So first of all I define the degree of freedom on 
translation. Okay. After that, I will put the beam end release. So to put the beam end release, I will select the hangers. So to select the angles, you can use the filter. That. Apply. So here, uh, there is a small sign in green to show you that you assign the, the beam end release. Now, I will select, use this uh, select identity tool to select only a special section, the bracing and the stringers, okay, and I will pin them, okay. And now for the last part, I will select the cross beams, okay, and So using this uh, selection tool, I can uh, use pinned fix for one side and the fixed pinned for another side. Okay, so now all the boundary are assigned. It's time to uh, create some uh, load cases. So the load cases I will create are first of all the dead load. So in the type of load you see you can assign all these types of load. So here I just choose dead load. And the sidewalk load which uh, will be also dead load. Apply. Oops. Okay. Now for the, I will apply the dead load only on the main girder to simplify a bit. So uh, use the elements beam load and I will select only the girder. Okay. And apply a load of minus 90. Same for the sidewall load. If you ask me to save, so you have automatic save. So you cannot uh, lost your job, so it's a good uh, thing. Okay, apply. Um, and now I will show you how to create a moving load. So for the moving load, first of all, I have to define a structural group. So you have a window which is called uh, group here. Uh, first of all, I have to select the cross beams. So I'll select the cross beam. I will create a structural group called cross beam. And simply by drag and drop it on the window, you can assign these elements to this structural group. So I will use this structural group to assign the moving load. So for the moving load, go in load, moving load. And you have several codes you can use. So in this case, I will use the arrow code. So if you use arrow code, all the norms which are in the code are already in the software. So you don't need to, to check everything. So the first thing I will do is create some lanes for the circulation. So the lane one. Here I use the cross beam group I just created. And I select here. Okay, so I created one lane, now another one, okay, cross beam, okay, I created two lanes, now I have to add some vehicles, uh, so from the standout here as I'm using arrow code, you have several types of standards. I will use one, the road bridge, so you can modify the, the coefficient if you, if you want. 
and I will use also um, the footwear and foot brake load. So I added two types of vehicle. Now I have to create the moving load case. So moving load case. I select uh, the vehicle. Okay. I include lanes. Okay. Now I can go into uh, moving load. And I can launch the analysis. So now I added all the condition and I just launched the analysis and you see in one point four seconds it is solved. So you can already check the results. It's quite quick. Um, now I will do a load combination after uh, the result because it is linear static analysis. So I will combine the results. I will create a load combination of the dead load, the sidewall load and the moving load. You can add some factors if you want. And now I will show you some uh, results. So first of all the reaction. At the four points of the bridge. So it automatically calculates the reaction. Uh, second thing, the deformation. So the deformation shape. that. So the option to add, uh, you can check here if you want the legend for example, you can check this option and the legend will appear here. Displacement control, so you can view displacements, that. See the values. You can also view an animation of this. You can see the beam diagram that the stresses in into the beam, etc. And for the moving load, you have uh, the influence line. So for the reaction, for example. So uh, in order to show see a bit better. Okay, I had the section. Okay, so this is the reaction influence line or uh, displacement. You can increase the scale. So this is uh, a good thing also is you can convert this result into a static load to apply it on your bridge afterwards. And you have also moving tracer, so you can check the moving tracer at the same time for the moving load. Okay, it's all for uh, this demonstration of MIDAS 7. So um, it's not finished. I hope you're still uh, listening. So. Now we'll go to uh, the next part of the presentation, which is uh, Midas Gen. So now the building engineers can come back. Okay, so I'll just wait one minute, and uh, I will begin about Midas Gen. So uh, we have a chat section in uh, this uh, system for the webinar. So if you have a question at any moment, uh, you can ask it. Okay, let's uh, continue. So minus Jen is a professional software for building uh, applications. So Burj Khalifa, Kingdom Tower or Beijing Olympic in, in China were uh, simulated using MyDesk. 
uh, it is not um, it is not only minus gen. You have a full solution, which is a one-stop solution minus modeler minus gen minus D shop and the CAD interface, and all that together uh, creates a full solution. So you can use minus uh, D shop to auto draft uh, in the your building, for example, minus uh, modeler to automatic generation of the model. And MyLogen, of course, is for the structural analysis. Now, you have data exchange between uh, several softwares like Tecla Structure or Rivet. You can also import your data from STAD, MSC Natron, and SAP uh, 2000. And, of course, it's possible to export or import AutoCAD VXF format. So, MinusGen is uh, practical and is used in all kinds of structures, uh, stadiums, power plants, hangar, airports, transmission towers, cranes, pressure vessels, uh, machine structures, underground, all that can be simulated. And also it provides very, uh, very nonlinear types of analysis, like pushover analysis, for example. Uh, base isolated and dampers, fiber analysis, uh, and various types of uh, mass seismic design. So um, now let me show you a small uh, demonstration of the software. So I think you're still uh, here. Okay, let's uh, close my cell and open minus gen. Just wait for a minute. Minus gen. So this is Gen 2013. So as you see, uh, the first page when you launch the software is actually a Midas website. So uh, on Midas website, you have a lot of training uh, support, and you can also download directly the trial uh, of the software. So uh, you just have to log in on the website, and you can directly download the 30 days full trial of uh, any uh, Midas software. This is uh, Good to know. So the address is midasuser.com. Uh, okay, so let's go for the demonstration. I will uh, go from uh, this file. So I will show you how to do a slab design uh, in MidasGen. So you see there's already some columns, uh, some beams, and now First thing I will do is to generate the slab. So to generate the slab, you have an option which is very useful uh, for automating the slab. So I will select the material, the thickness, okay. Um, so you just have to select this zone and the software will automatically mesh your slab like that. Now, you have some walls also in your building, so these walls can also be meshed, of course, so using planner elements. So in this case, first of all, uh, select the walls, and find the thickness of the walls, the material of these walls, click on apply and you see the walls are generated. Now you can activate the section to see a bit, so now it's only one floor uh, building. If you go in the walk, you see some uh, support condition is already 
assigned. So uh, all the columns have been uh, fixed. And the self weights is already assigned to the building. So what I will do first is to assign um, pressure to this uh, first first flow. So the, I will assign it to the live load load case. So you select your uh, flow. You can change the unit. Minus two, so it will be kilonewton by by meter square and you see in just a few clicks uh, all the pressure is assigned to the first floor. Now Midas Gen has very uh, useful features if you want to create uh, a full building with using the building generation tool for example. So select all, select the number of times you want to copy this flow. Uh, you have to put distance uh, between each row and apply. So in a few clicks you see you have your building uh, which is defined. So I will hide the nodes so you see a bit better. Okay. So um, now I will show you how to assign the wind load to this building. So uh, oh, sorry, before uh, the story generation. So there's also very useful feature is that you can auto generate the story data. So just in two clicks like that, all the data from the stories are defined. You can consider or not a flow diagram, depending on what you want to do. Now, now I will show you how to assign the wind load. So all the types of flows you can assign are, are here in this menu. So the wind load can be defined using a uh, row code, for example. So a row code 2005. So you can, it will be in X direction for the first one. So you can define a wind profile with the different stories. Okay. Again, I will assign from the Y direction. Okay, now I send the wind load. Um, and now another thing, uh, I will assign the response spectrum uh, data. So MinusGem is very useful because you already have the design spectrum data inside. So you just have to select the code you want to use, the error code 8, for example. Um, click on OK and you see the spectrum is already provided. So just add it to your uh, analysis, create your spectrum log case, X direction, you can apply some damping. Um, I have to define some angle value too. So you have several value, several methods to define the eigenvalue, value, the lengths, subspace or width vector. And in our y direction too. Okay. Okay. Now, now I just can launch the analysis. Okay. Now I will show you the reaction first. So you can visualize the reaction of each uh, column in the building. And the maximum reaction is shown is in red. Yeah. The second type of results are uh, the displacement. So you can do the deform shape first. Like that. 
the displacement control. Um, you can see the, the beam diagrams. All the model and also the stresses into the plates and the slab. So uh, now I will show you briefly how to design your building. So Midas Gen is very uh, good for the, the structural designers of building because it has a lot of codes for any type of design, steel design, concrete design, or uh, SRC design. So design code here can be chosen, so you can choose a row code using a recommended annex. Um, then you can define the partial safety factors. So again, depending on your analysis, and you can modify the rebar data. So you can define directly in the gen the the bar in each column, for example. So this is the column in all the model, and this is the the bar in each column. So just by changing the numbers here, you can ch or increase or not the number of uh, bars inside your column. And after that, you can add a new place and check the design. So it will automatically check the column design, for example, and tells you if uh, it is OK uh, or not. So if it is not, it will give you advice uh, how you can increase the number of bars inside your columns. You, you can select one column only. It's not only for all the columns in the building. You can select a small part of your building only. And it's not only for column. It's also for beams, uh, also for slab, and for walls. So here you have the information, the result. So it tells you that uh, the design condition to uh, to use is this one, and this is the applied loads, the actual forces, the interaction diagram, and the shear force capacity. We have also the PM curve, and you can click on this button to update the rebar in uh, your model. Now I'll show you the slab design. So uh, for the slab design, it's uh, almost similar. So what I can do is select only one floor, for example. OK. And show you the, the rebar data, for example. So to read the design concrete slab data, and he will tell you in which place you need to, to make rebar into your slab. So I guess the, the parts in red need to be need some rebar. You can check also the resistance ratio, the wood armor moment. And you have also some tools for uh, checking the uh, 
the, the shear, the slab shear checking. So at each intersection it gives you the value of uh, the shear between the different uh, parcels of the model. You can also see the stress uh, on this uh, So you see the stress is represented by red uh, red segments here with this value. So just by looking at this, you know where uh, the shear is important and where uh, there's a lot of stress. Okay, it's all for the demonstration of minus gen. So I will come back to this presentation. So minus gen has also dynamic report generation. So uh, after doing your model, your analysis, you don't need to, to check everything uh, to make yourself your reports. Just by one click and drag and drop, you can generate automatically the report. And the report will generate itself with, uh, when you modify the model. So you don't have to do it every time. So it's very uh, powerful. And these are a few examples of the uh, MINUS projects. So the Burj Khalifa in the UAE has used MINUS gen. Uh, one of the reasons was the state construction stage analysis and also uh, the shortening of the columns because it's uh, very important in the very tall building like that. The Moscow City Palace Tower in Russia uh, and all the uh, famous buildings, the Beijing National Stadium. Okay. Now come the third part about uh, geotechnical engineering. So minus GTS is the tool for uh, geotechnical engineers and uh, I will the demonstration will be a bit shorter because uh, we have to, to be quick. Uh, but I will show you also uh, the interface and uh, the types of analysis you can do. So first, first of uh, all, uh, MIDAS GTS can do all these types of analysis, static, construction stage, seepage analysis, uh, semi-coupled analysis, consolidation, slope stability, uh, eigenvalue, linear, equivalent linear analysis, response spectrum and time history. So all that in one software. Um, Midas GTS can model very complex 3D structures. So mainly it is used to model underground structures like the subway stations uh, and the plant or the nuclear installation uh, this time and to model the pile of uh, very high buildings. So these, the, the pile diameter and the pile group behavior can be modeled and analyzed. Also, 3D soil structure interaction uh, can be simulated. Um, minus GTS can simulate unconventional tunnel intersections. So it's done for very complex underground uh, stations and it has been one widely used over the world for uh, the creation of new subway stations, for example. Also the shield TBM method, um, like that. So this is the shield TBM, can also be uh, modeled. Midas GTS can consider the stage uh, analysis, the construction stage analysis, so you can excavate with different stage and see the displacement uh, in, in your model. So I will show you right that in, in the software. I will close minus gen and uh, open minus uh, GTS.
Okay, so here I will simply load the model. Uh, I will it will be a bit quicker than the previous demo, but it's in order to show you uh, what you can do. So this is a 3D tunnel connection uh, Dalry model. So it is a 3D model. Well, Maya GTS can simulate 2D and 3D, uh, the two together. Okay, so this is the model. So this is underground. To for you to see better, I will hide uh, the the ground material. And this is the tunnel structure. So this is the t the structure which has to be excavated. Uh, and here you can see the piles in the ground. So if I show you the result of the analysis. This is construction stage analysis. I will show you first the displacement. So the first stage uh, is the isostatic state. And you see when you do the excavation like that, you can see the displacement in your ground which is created by the excavation. So this is a powerful feature of Midas GTS for a tunnel and underground structure excavation. So this is the final uh, state of the displacement in the ground. I can show you uh, again. So you can change the angle also. To see like that what is happening when you excavate your tube. So it is particularly useful when the condition of the ground is very complex. When you have several layers of different materials and you don't know what is happening, uh, Midas GTS can calculate everything. And there's a module to um, import directly the data from the map. So the, the, you don't have to, to model the ground exactly like this, but you just import the data from the, the file and it will directly model the ground uh, like on your map. So I can show you the stresses also. So the formula stress for example. Okay, uh, it was a very short demonstration about Midas GTS, but uh, we will organize other uh, webinars uh, about it. So if you're interested, just uh, tell me, and we will invite you for a specialized webinar with more uh, details about each software. Because here it's a very large introduction, so I cannot talk about everything. Okay, so Midas GTS can also be used for dynamic analysis. So for example, the, the, the train, which is going on the ground, um, it supports 64 bytes uh, system. And these are a few projects, uh, the Onkolo nuclear waste disposal in Finland. Um, the stats, the Trans Hudson Express station in the USA. So it's a very complex structure. If you look at the, the screen, King's Cross station in the UK. 
the Dubai Tower in Qatar, which is a pile graph relation of 88-story building. Palazzo Versace, the Odeon Tower in Monaco. Uh, you can do also dam analysis. Okay, now the last part. Uh, so I will be very short about uh, this part because uh, I think there's only one engineer here uh, about mechanic. So uh, minus NFX is a very powerful software also for mechanic analysis. So NFX has two modes, designer mode and analyst mode. So analyst mode, uh, designer mode is for the the person who are using CAD model and wants to do quick analysis on it. The analysis mode is for the specialists who really know everything about FEM uh, and analysis. And NFX can simulate all these analysis, linear static, model and buckling, nonlinear and quasi-static analysis, dynamic, uh, 32 and 64 byte algorithm, and there's also heat transfer, fatigue analysis and composite, and CFD analysis. So again, let me show you quickly a demonstration. I will try to be quick. So I will uh, first of all go into the designer mode so you can switch from one mode to another like that. Create a new uh, project. Import the CAD model. So so in NFX you can import all these types of CAD model, Parasolid, Arcus, Step, IGS, ProE, Katia, SolidWorks, Unigraphics, Inventor, all that can be used. So this is an uh, assembly model. NFX can, um, first of all, I will assign the materials. So. NFX has also a library of uh, more than thousands materials here. So I will just use, uh, let's say, aluminum alloy. So all the coefficients, uh, structural, thermal, uh, factor safety calculation, all that are available. You have linear and nonlinear material. You can even simulate rubbers. So you can assign this material to your different parts simply by drag and dropping uh, it on the model. Now you have a feature to simplify the model because there's a lot of small holes and fillets and this is, this is a bit, um, when you want to mesh it and obtain good results you need to suppress all that. So using the auto simplification in Midas NFX, you can directly find the holes and the fillet and remove them. So in just a few clicks like that, you have a model which is, let's say, cleaner for the analysis. You can assign some contacts between the different parts. So just by selecting all the parts, the type of contact you want to use, like you see, in less than one second, 26 contacts have been assigned. So if you click here, you can view on the screen directly where is uh, this contact. So here it's between the, the blue and the red part. Now you can assign some boundary condition directly by selecting on the model. So you can fix these parts, for example. You can assign static load. You 
the meshing is very convenient also. So designer mode only provides 3D mesh, but uh, the analyst mode you have any type of mesh inside. So I unselect these two parts. And NFX use the multi-core to mesh all the parts of your model. So it is very quick to uh, model any big model, let's say. Because in mechanic, you need to have very powerful uh, meshing tool. So, and I will use hybrid mesh to mesh these two parts. So hybrid mesh actually is a combination of hexa mesh and tetra mesh for better accuracy. And also it improves the speed of the calculation. Okay, so if you zoom on this area, you see the mesh is really good here. Now that I've done all that, just have to create an analysis case. So these are all the analysis you can do in NFX. So linear static, buckling model, nonlinear steady uh, heat transfer. You can do nonlinear static as well as nonlinear dynamic analysis. Um, and very complex type, like explicit uh, analysis, implicit, all that is provided. So I just create my analysis case and run the analysis. So you see for this uh, 20,000 element model, it only took 10 seconds to uh, get the results. So it's really uh, quick. So now I have the deformation of the model. So you can see deform shape and deform shape. You can animate all that. And the good thing is that you can zoom, you can uh, rotate during the animation. You can view the stress also inside the model. So inside this part, for example, you have some tools like the ISO surface to, to see only the stress which is uh, superior to a certain value. Clipping tool to cut uh, your model and see what is happening inside. You can also use the probe tool to get results of the displacement, for example, at any point of your model. You can also get the minimum and maximum value at uh, any point. And a lot, a lot of other tools. So this was a very quick demonstration about NFX. Now I will come back to the presentation. And we still have a few slides and uh, afterwards. Okay. Uh, so NFX can be used for, for example, heavy equipment, uh, stress analysis of heavy equipment in the industry. It can be used also for aerospace and automotive industry. And actually, um, uh, Samsung and uh, LG are using uh, NFX in Korea. So this is an example of analysis of durability of the door uh, of the car. And NFX can perform also fluid dynamic analysis. Okay, so now a few slides about the events all over the world. So I hope it will interest you. We uh, Midas organized a lot of events in the every countries. So these are a few photos of the events made in the Czech Republic last year. Um, we open very frequently such events. So there's a conference talk about the pro about the uh, about analysis about uh, real analysis and engineering cases. 
Uh, there's some workshop also, so you can try the software. Uh, you can talk with uh, a lot of engineers together, so it's very uh, good uh, time. And we will organize such kind of events uh, in Romania also. So it's uh, the date is not fixed yet, but uh, I hope uh, we will do that around October. So if you are interested, uh, we will send you the invitation also for this uh, event about Midas. Um, now you can ask a few questions. If you have, uh, do you have some questions? Maybe I cannot answer all the questions right now because there's a lot of engineers. Uh, but if you have some questions, please write them and we will uh, answer you by mail uh, after this webinar. So please write any question in uh, your, your chat section. Okay, I will go to the last slide. So uh, actually, uh, Midas is caring a lot about his users. And we would like to know what you think about uh, today's webinar and what do you want to see uh, next time. So what is your impression about Midas software? Um, so if, uh, if you can just write it in the chat section, a uh, very short answer for each question, it will be really good for, uh, for us. And uh, I thank you in advance for your participation. So we would like to know what you think about this webinar. Uh, what is your impression of Midas software and what feature and uh, annals interest you the most in this webinar. And also we will organize all the specialized webinars on different topics, uh, very specialized topics. So if you are interested to join, please let us know and uh, I will just invite you for the next topic. You can also tell me which kind of topic you are interested in and we will just uh, make it for you. Okay, so I will let you five minutes to, to just write something here. Okay, I see we have a lot of participation. Uh, thank you very much again. So if you have any question afterwards uh, about the software, about any type of analysis, about anything, uh, my mail is cyprin at midasit.com. So you can either contact me directly or you can also contact uh, the part, my partners in uh, Romania. So Dragos and Ionut. Uh, Okay, um, I think it's all for this webinar, so uh, thank you very much for attending again, and uh, we hope to have more contact with you uh, afterwards. Um, if you are interested in some uh, training or you want to see more videos about the software, you can go on YouTube. Um, Midas has different channel on YouTube, so there is a channel for Midas Civil. So just by searching Midas Civil, you can find all the videos, tutorials about every kind of bridges, for example. Uh, if you're interested by Midas NFX, you can simply tap, type Midas NFX here, and you will find a lot of uh, analysis, uh, a lot of uh, content uh, about Midas NFX.
We have also some uh, Facebook page. So if you like Midas, you can go on Midas Facebook. So you just search Midas IT on Facebook. And we always share the late, latest news about the software and about any kind of events we are doing right now. So you see there's a new tutorial, for example. Uh, we had a visit of Nigerian engineer last week. So these are the photos up here. Uh, we have some videos about uh, the project and the companies, uh, whole new partners. Uh, you can just check it on Facebook. And uh, also, you can let any comments here uh, which you're interested. Okay. Okay. I guess this is the end. So uh, thank you very much again. And I hope to see you next time.